My name is Tony Vincent and I used to teach elementary school and now I'm a self-employed teaching and learning consultant. I decided to become a teacher when I was in sixth grade. I really enjoyed helping my peers learn math and what I really liked was making my own learning materials. I would record skits and uh, learning or skits about things that we were learning in class on my Fisher Price tape player. I would borrow my dad's camcorder and make science and social studies videos. I would even take batteries and wires and paper and tacks and make my own matching games. Uh, I knew from uh, that age that making my own learning materials was pretty powerful. So I vowed that when I became a teacher that I would have my students make things to learn. And that's what I did. As a fifth grade teacher, my students recorded videos about explorers. They recorded uh, health, public service announcements, and made their own uh, news magazines. And that, that ownership really was empowering. We had a class website called Planet Fifth, where we published student work. We had a student every day who was designated as the roving reporter who got to decide what pictures and what uh, articles to put on our website. So we were like a publishing company. Uh, what I found was that my students had this high degree of, of ownership. They felt responsible and accountable for what was on our class website. And I think it led to more learning. Uh, I recently learned about a psychological phenomenon called the IKEA effect, and it's where people place a, a higher value on something that they helped create. And it's named after IKEA, the, the furniture store, but it, it's something that uh, I've found true in my work when students make their own media, is that when they make something, they, they feel that it has a lot of value to them, and it helps in their learning. Uh, I knew that this was such a, a powerful thing that a couple of years ago, I co-created an app called Stick Around, where teachers get to make sorting, matching, and labeling games. And it takes a lot of thinking and some time to figure out how to take content and turn it into a playable puzzle. Uh, when I work with students with this app, they get really excited not only about the content, but about the, the fonts and the shapes and the colors and the format of the puzzles they make because they have a high degree of ownership over what they make. Plus, it helps reinforce their learning and gets them excited about what they're doing. So that's just one of many apps. I could pull my phone out of my pocket right now and students could film a documentary, make a pop-up video, record a narrated slideshow, um, record an audio skit, or make an elegant web page just from apps that I have in my hand. Uh, and I, I've spent, uh, I spend a lot of time now as a consultant traveling to conferences and schools giving workshops to teachers to help them empower students using technology. And when I do that, I have the teachers creating digital products just like I did with my students. And uh, what, they, what they take away is some confidence in making these things, but they also see from the point of view that when they get to decide what they're creating and make the key decisions, that they feel they have ownership and they value what they've created. So it's really great to see what students are learning and doing in classrooms where the teachers give them a high degree of ownership. Mm -hmm.